The Texas church shooter's first wife broke her silence Friday to detail the abuse she suffered at his hands, including one horrific incident where he held a gun to her head over a speeding ticket. Four years before Devon Kelly killed 25 people, including a pregnant woman, at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, he admitted to choking, kicking and pulling Tessa Brenneman's hair and fracturing the skull of her two-year-old son. Brenneman, speaking to Inside Edition, said Kelly threatened to kill her and her whole family. He once flew into a rage over a speeding ticket, she said. Texas Department of Public Safety via app he had a gun in his holster, and he took the gun out, and he put it to my temple and he told me, do you want to die, do you want to die, he just had a lot of demons of hatred inside of him, said Brenneman. Kelly and Brenneman, now 25, divorced in 2012 after less than two years of marriage. Scott Olson Getty Images Kelly, who was convicted of assaulting Brenneman and her son while serving in the U.S. Air Force, was confined for 12 months before he received a bad conduct discharge in 2014. While that discharge alone would NT have barred him from buying a gun, the Air Force failed to report the court-martial convictions to the FBI's Criminal Justice Investigation Services Division, allowing Kelly to pass background checks on firearm purchases. On November 5, Kelly rampaged through the church about 35 miles from his new Brownfalls home, before shooting himself in the head as two bystanders gave chase. Darren Abbotty Pay motive for the mass shooting remains unclear, but Kelly appears to have targeted a church that was long attended by the family of his second wife, Danielle Shield. Leading up to the shooting, authorities say, Kelly had sent threatening text messages to his mother-in-law. Among the victims were Shield's grandmother Lula Wawasinski White. A resume posted online linked to an email address associated with Danielle Kelly identifies her as a teacher at the church from 2009 to 2013. Among her listed responsibilities at the church were to teach the children about God and be a positive influence in their life. With Newswire Services